guys uh, videos on what happens in the stomach. So uh, the stomach's the first place your solid bolus of food lubricated with saliva and mucus. I'm sure you'd love to think about that. Uh, the stomach is the first place in effect that um, that ball of food hits and it passes down through the cardiac sphincter which is a ring of muscle at the top. So that's just to control the passage of food and sometimes you'll hear people complaining of heartburn that's effectively a, a relaxation of the cardiac sphincter which then allows acid to head back up into the esophagus causing a burning sensation and because it's the closest sphincter to your heart, the closest bit of the esophagus to your heart, it kind of, you know, it feels like it's in your chest rather than actually where it is, which is in your abdomen. So, um, the, let's just have a look at the modifications so of, the, uh, of the stomach wall. So, in an earlier video on layers of the gut wall, lots of little circles, and we know that working from the outside in, we've got the serosa, muscle layers, you've then got the submucosa and the mucosa, which is the sort of business end of it. And the major, uh, the major modification of the stomach is that you've got an extra layer of muscle. So that muscle, instead of having two layers, a circular and a longitudinal, has three layers so it's got an additional oblique layer so it's got an an up and down longitudinal it's got a round and round and then it's got one on the side and that relates to its function in churning and making effectively our solid food into a liquid called chyme um, so that's a bit of sort of mechanical digestion, I suppose. It's kind of, you know, it's breaking it all down until it, it's sort of, well, not in solution, but, you know, until it's a very watery thing. So, we're now going to take a sort of a closer look at this area here, which is called a gastric pit. Effectively, if you hear the word gastric, gastric refers to the stomach. So, you know, you think, you know, celebrities and their gastric bands to help them lose weight. What they're doing is they're sticking a band around the stomach to reduce its volume so they can't actually take in as much food and get fat. So, um, the, the wall, the mucosal layer of the gut, has these glands in called gastric pits. So these are just simple epithelial lines, uh, sort of invaginations of the mucosa. So they've got their sort of usual suite of epithelial cells and up near the top they've got these uh, mucous neck cells. These are what we are calling goblet cells. And again earlier video has a little picture of a goblet cell. So these are secreting mucus which is then going to pass up and line all of this surface here and prevent it being digested and damaged. And then we've got um, two sorts of cells that you need to know about. There are parietal cells and these you'll see also referred to as oxyntic cells. And what they're churning out is hydrochloric acid. So the acid functions to, uh, it activates the enzyme, it provides an optimum pH for the enzyme in the stomach and it also uh, aids you know, destruction of bacteria that you've swallowed with your food. And then we've got at the bottom we've got these uh, chief cells, again you'll also see those called parietal cells, not parietal cells because with those are oxyntic cells. Um, Chief cells are called peptic cells, sorry, it's not too many P's, peptic cells. Um, and these are the ones, what they churn out is uh, pepsinogen. 
Now, the cells do not produce active enzyme because this is a protease, Peps pepsin is a protease and it will digest uh, any protein that it collides with, including the proteins on cell membranes or inside of cells if it was just released in its active form. So it's this pepsinogen is what we call an inactive precursor. And the thing that activates it, we can see this reaction over here, we've got pepsinogen, hydrochloric acid activates it to pepsin, and then of course, you know, really confusingly, pepsin can also activate pepsinogen to make more pepsin. Don't worry too much about that. As far as you're concerned, hydrochloric acid converts pepsinogen to active pepsin. So, what do we need to know about pepsin? This is where protein digestion starts. Pepsin is an endo peptidase. Now what in the world does that mean? Endo means inside. So if you imagine your protein, I'll just draw an alpha helix. An endopeptidase is breaking peptide bonds, hydrolyzing peptide bonds right in the middle. So we've got hydrolysis of peptide bonds. In the middle of the protein and what that will produce is lots of shorter uh, polypeptides that is actually if you think about well let's not think about vomit but you know the smell of vomit is this these shorter polypeptides so you're only ever sick from your stomach so all those people who say that they were just bringing up bile, no, they're really not. Bile's much further down. Um, so that you, what you're throwing up is a sort of mixture of hydrochloric acid, this kind, the solid bits, chunks of carrot usually. Um, and the smell of it is these short polypeptides. They really do, they're most unpleasant. So, um, yeah, so that's it. So they're, they're making shorter polypeptides and, and you know, proteins are big molecules. They need chopping down a lot. There's going to be more endopeptidases and some exciting exopeptidases later on. So that's it. That's what the stomach does. Three layers of muscle churns up uh, your solid food into chyme. Uh, you've got pepsinogen, your inactive precursor. We've got hydrochloric acid three functions, killing bacteria, providing optimum pH, converting pepsinogen, our inactive precursor, into pepsin. What does pepsin do? It's an endopeptidase. It hydrolyzes peptide bonds and releases shorter polypeptides. That is kind of what you need to know about the stomach.